came out 31, let's take a look at how you can plot imaginary numbers on the complex plane. So when I say complex plane, uh, in the complex plane, the horizontal axis, or what we'll call the x-axis, right, is now going to be referred to as the real axis, and the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. So these are your real numbers down here, and these are the imaginary numbers here. So for example, if I ask you to plot the, the complex number negative 2 plus 3i, negative 2 is going to be on the real axis because that's the real number. 3i is going to be along the y-axis because that's the imaginary part. So when I say negative 2, you're going to go left 2. And when I say 3i, you're going to go up 3 because that's what the complex plane will have you do. Real and then imaginary. So you're going to move initially left or right depending on the real part of your complex number. And then up or down depending on the imaginary part for your complex number. So let's practice that with a few of these and see, see where everything plays out in example four. So I'm going to move this up so that we can see our x and y axes here, or I should say our real and imaginary axes. So we're going to plot some complex numbers on the complex plane. So plot the following numbers on the complex plane. All right, so to work this, let's go ahead and label and scale our axes. So I'm going to go x and y. And just looking at the numbers that I have here, it looks like I need to at least go to 7, right? I see a 7, a 5, 4, 3, 1. So I'm going to make each box worth one unit, which means I'm going to have 10 this way, 10 this way. All right, so I, I just want to remind you, this is our real axis, and this is our imaginary axis. Okay, and that's how we work the complex plane. So here, when I take a look at 3 plus 4i, you can see the real part of this complex number is positive 3, so I'm going to move right 1, 2, 3. And the imaginary part of this complex number is 4i, so I'm going to move up 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the, or the complex number 3 plus 4i. So just so we label it, that is the solution to part A. I have plotted that complex number on the complex plane. Here we've got negative 4 minus i, so I'm going to move four units left on the real axis, and one unit down on the imaginary axis. And this is point B. All right, if you see 5i here and you're thinking, well, where do I move? Well, you can write 5i as 0 plus 5i. Technically, this is just an imaginary number, right? It doesn't have a real part to it, that's fine. So I start at the origin and I move zero units left or right, but I move five units up, so one, two, three, four, five. And this is point C on the complex plane. And then similarly for part D, part D doesn't have an imaginary part. I could rewrite this as negative seven plus zero i. So I need to move seven to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and zero units up or down. So this is gonna be part D or point D, excuse me. And that's how we plot numbers on the, or I should say, that's how we plot complex numbers on the complex plane. Okay, so with that, we're gonna learn some of the math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division applied to these complex numbers. I'll see you in a few, bye.